What is up everybody? It's your boy Duty back again with another video and this time we're going to be taking a look at our boy DSP's daily rap video after a day of Disney Princess Crab's Treasure or Little Mermaid and of course the late night stream of Hell Divers. That's right. And our boy Phil is actually talking about wage quitting Hell Divers 2 after making about a hundred bucks in tips during the night. But as we're going to hear our boy Phil is upset because apparently the way the tips came in wasn't to his liking. So let's see what Phil had to say on the Daily Wrap. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Monday, the 13th of May, 2024. A very day of streaming here on DSP Gaming. Back to full-time gaming now after my React Day yesterday. Um, let's talk a little bit about that. So first stream was a fun level one podcast covering quite a, a different uh, amount of uh, news. You know, starting off with uh, Square Enix deciding to change their strategy, no longer going exclusive to PS5 like they have been doing recently, uh, explaining their reasoning. In addition to that, uh, Marvel Rivals, the game that I just talked about yesterday and a big kind of a rant about it, doing a complete 180 with their attitude, although they tried to try to play it off like it was a misunderstanding when it clearly was not. Um, <clears throat> some other news uh, about Assassin's Creed, which is hilarious, with Ubisoft literally spoiling their own announcement before they even made it because they're stupid, uh, among other things. So it was a good podcast, a good amount of discussion, and then we jumped over to Oh boy, oh boy, I didn't think I was going to have to jump in this early, but, uh, yeah, Phil, Phil has been annoying your boy duty lately, and I think what's been annoying me the most has been his gaming news segments, where it all comes down to companies are stupid, people are stupid, everything they do is stupid, that's essentially Phil's analysis, either they're stupid or they're scumbags because they're rich, that that's that's it's in a nutshell that's phil's rant about every single fucking gaming news out there and you know what pisses me off is when someone like phil someone in phil's situation someone in phil's uh who's who who has his specific lot in life an an addict a gambling addict an alcoholic amongst many addictions has the nerve to criticize multi-billion dollar companies for how they run their in they run their business now i'm not here to to defend ubisoft ubisoft does a lot of uh you know not so not so great things but to actually call them stupid is ridiculous this is a multi-billion dollar company that has many moving parts ubisoft has what a couple thousand employees what they have maybe 10 15 thousand employees that work under them there's not one person at the helm monitoring everything, Phil. You have a CEO, you have a CFO, you have multiple senior vice presidents, vice presidents that run their own divisions. And then underneath them, you have managers and level line employees. It's a lot to manage, Phil, and mistakes are always going to be made. But your simplistic analysis of they're stupid makes you sound fucking stupid. Bring something to the fucking table. Do a little bit of a, do a little bit of digging instead of that just baseline remedial. They're stupid. You're fucking stupid. You sound like an idiot when you do these news segments and bring nothing to the table. And, and this company that Phil calls stupid, how how much did they make in 2023? How much did Ubisoft make? They made 1.6 billion euros, which comes out to about 1.7. Uh, billion American US dollars so since you don't know how to convert uh, money Microsoft is another one Microsoft are run by idiots they're morons and they're stupid yeah they're so stupid that they made in 2023 16 billion dollars so b -b billions and you're here trying to struggle to get the tier 2 tip goal which is 50 bucks so the next time you're going to do these news segments, skip the whole they're stupid, they're idiots. You're the stupid idiot. You're the one sitting here streaming to 150 fucking dents talking about, oh, uh, I need to pay my bills. How stupid is that? And you're so stupid that you can't even control yourself when it comes to a fucking mobile game. So you're the idiot. You're the moron. The next time, Phil, you want to do these news stories, bring a little something to it, man. If you're going to discuss these topics, reading a Twitter post 
It is the cutting of Phil. Anyone can go on Twitter or Google and look up the news and look up an article and read it for themselves. Take take a picture from like Skilla. When he does a news story or even Young Yang, who isn't the greatest, but at least they bring something to the table. They read the story and then provide some a little bit analysis and a little bit of a deep dive. And whenever there's a problem, they do offer up some type of solution. Some type of solution. It may not be the best solution, but it's something. So if you don't like how Ubisoft is running their business and Microsoft running their business, come with a little bit of answers. I dislike, I, I, this goes back to my early days. I hate people when people come to me and bitch about something. Don't bitch about something unless you're going to offer me, uh, offer me up a solution or a potential solution. Even if the solution is stupid, offer something up. At least, at least when you come to me with a complaint about something, I can say to myself, okay, this person actually took the time to really sit down and think about it. And they're passionate enough about it that they wanted to bring this up to my, to my attention. And they're simply not just venting and bitching about something. They actually came with a solution, regardless of how dumb maybe the solution might sound, at least they're offering up a solution. And, and, and those type of people I could take seriously because I, I, I focus on what they're saying. I say, okay, let me do an analysis of what this person is saying and their potential solution. And at least then, you know, at least then you can, you can, you, you can, you can proceed. That's the reason why I feel hey suggestion box because suggestion box actually take him, uh, require him to actually focus, to listen to what the person is saying, to listen to their potential solution and then either implement it or discuss why it isn't going to work. And he's so fucking lazy that nothing works. It's always, no, that's stupid. It doesn't work because he's fucking lazy. And that's what he is. He's lazy when it comes to these fucking news stories. His go-to is always, they're idiots and they're stupid. Okay, big boy, step up to the plate. Let's see what you can do. I would love to see Phil run Microsoft. Microsoft would fucking close in two days if Phil was at the fucking helm. To another crab's treasure, which was a great stream as well. Uh, during the stream, we did a lot of open exploration yet again, because now we have the ability to use an electric eel power-up to power these little crab robots that made things happen in the environment, like move a crane or have a platform come over. And this allowed us to f further explore, fight mini bosses, and actually get big upgrades. So. After doing all of that, we continued on with the story for the final hour of the stream, which was awesome. You know, we went to a new area, fought a big epic boss, and now I believe we're in the end game of the story. And I don't want to spoil what's going on in the story, but basically it's a big twist and it's kind of a really scary part of the game, I would say, that we're in. But what people are saying, yes, basically one more stream and I will wrap up the game that there's end game stuff coming right now. <clears throat> so I'm excited to see how that goes when I play it again on Wednesday. So great stream, great progress, and now the end is in sight for another Crab's Treasure. Uh, the night stream was the return of hell divers 2. now to give you some perspective was there good attendance yeah it was pretty good for a night stream it wasn't amazing but it wasn't horrible was there good engagement yes the people who were there actually were active talking with me the whole night trying to help me with the game was the support good yes now admittedly the support was only from about two people but the support that came in was very good for hell divers 2. so i was like wow so basically it hit it on all cylinders except i'm gonna be honest with everyone because you know i'm an honest guy it kind of got bored all right, and you might say, well, why? You haven't played Helldivers 2 in two weeks, so now it should feel fresh again. It's not like you were playing it all the time. Uh, why were you feeling bored? Well, there's two unique factors, okay? Factor number one, more than half the night were matches that failed and I made no progress. First, I had a really long, drawn-out match against the uh, Termitids, and we got to the end. And, by the way, I finally was getting super samples, the big samples you need to upgrade higher up your ship, um, which is are rare. You can only get three a map, and it's very hard to get them. So we get to the very end of the match, and then we die. It's like, dude, we just played. I'm not kidding. That match was like 40 minutes of my stream, and we got nothing for it. It was a complete waste of time. It's like, oh, that's terrible. Then the next, the very next match, again, we're doing good. We've got the super, the super uh, samples. Half the team drops from the game. Oh, no. And then to make matters worse, we're getting flooded by enemies, and a troll joins the lobby and basically isn't playing and is just talking in the chat being an asshole. Well, guess what? I had to quit. What else are you going to do? We weren't going to win. So basically, no exaggeration. Out of my two and a half hours I played tonight, over an hour to an hour and a half was a waste of time. It was only the very final match of the night that we actually made progress. I did actually win this match. I did get some super samples. Um, so when you're half of your night is a waste, it gets kind of boring. You feel like you're, kind of, you're spinning your wheels. You're not getting anywhere, right? That's number one. Number two, let's be honest here. There's really nothing new happening in the game right now. 
There's the two alien races. I've fought them a bunch. I've seen everything they have to offer, so I'm not seeing any new monsters or anything like that. Stratagems, I mean, I've got some of the best ones. The Orbital Cannon, the, the uh, Orbital Laser, the 500 kilogram uh, Eagle Bomb, and the Force Field. That's pretty much the, the meta that people are using. Um, maybe there's something better, but I have to level up more, which means I have to grind using the same stuff over and over. So I'm not unlocking anything new. I'm not fighting anything new. It's pretty much just the same cycle of gameplay over and over. Um, and it loses its luster. You know, one of the things I praised Helldivers 2 for in the first month there that I was playing it is that there was always something going on. Oh, new race, new challenge, new kind of a map, new this, new that. Now it seems like it's just more of the same over and over, and that's fun if you're grinding with friends. It's not so fun if you're dropping in doing random matches. I mean, hence the fact that two of the matches tonight were a waste of time makes it feel like, again, you're spinning your wheel. So that's it. Like, right now, if they were to drop new content for Helldivers 2, I'd be excited. But the fact that it's the same content that I was playing two weeks ago, I come back after a two-week hiatus, it's the same game, nothing different, nothing new, it is a little boring, okay? So here's the thing. I had a good time. People liked watching me play. They were engaged and supporting. All evidence says I should play another stream of Helldivers 2. But I was kind of bored. So I think what I'll do is I'll ask around. I'll see if it is interesting to everyone to see me play Helldivers again soon. If so, maybe we'll do a stream on like Wednesday night. If not, maybe we'll wait. Maybe we will bring it back, but when there's a reason to, if there's a, another rebalance, if there's a, a new thing added, if there's a new alien race added, you know what I mean? Because right now, I just really don't want to do the same things in a circle ad nauseum. It's going to be boring to me like it was tonight. So sometimes, you know, even though all the factors come together, it still doesn't really work. And I feel like tonight was fine, but I want more out of the game and I hope that there will be more in the future. Um, Hopefully, we'll see. But overall, great streaming day. Like the content or like the games, like the content. Hope you watch it. And thank you for the support. The support was great. Tomorrow, Tuesday. Do you hear this fucking dude? Do you really hear this fucking dude? He's upset because he received 100 bucks in tips and it was only from two people. Gatsu Katsu dropped a 50 and some anonymous dent. That dropped, I think, another 50 bucks. Here's the skinny here, folks. All of your streams fill are this way. All of your streams are filled by two dents that support it. And if, if one of those dents don't come on, you're screwed. Your support's going to be abysmal, as you like to say. So why the fuck is Helldivers any different? You barely make any fucking money on your night stream. So you should be fucking happy two of your idiotic dents decided to step up and drop some cash your way. Now the truth here, folks, is that he sucks. He fucking sucks at Helldivers. He, fucks, he sucks at all multiplayer games. But he's even worse when it's a co-op he hates these co-op streams and that's the reason why he's sitting here complaining about fucking support and he's bored these games are made to uh to play with with other people to communicate to strategize what do you have phil doing you have phil fucking running to the other side of the fucking map not coordinating whatsoever not even using the text chat to communicate and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't Hell Hell Divers give you a ping system like Apex and Call and Call of Duty, where you can actually ping where you're gonna go or do something? He does none of this. He wanders around like a fucking idiot and gets fucking killed. And yes, the trolling was pretty fucking funny last night. His teammates were trolling him because they know exactly who he was, and uh, that's the reason why. That's the fucking reason why he wants to wage quit this. But to sit here and fucking complain and actually have the gall to bring up that two people were the ones that support it. That's all your fucking streams, Phil. Every single stream that you do, it's two people supporting it. Yeah, you have a couple, couple, three or four or five people dropping a dollar super chat or a two dollar tip or whatever the fuck have you. But these are idiots that want to say something and they want you to read it because, you know, you won't really read anything else unless it's on a dollar bill. So I don't know why Helldivers is any different. The only difference I can suspect here is that you suck at this game. You're fucking terrible. It's the reason why you don't like playing Master Master Rank, or excuse me, Rank Matches on Street Fighter. Because it makes you look fucking stupid. But of course you can't put your p pathetic p pride aside and just play the fucking game. Apparently there were a couple dents in there that liked the game so much that they were willing to throw Crash your way. So what are you going to fucking do now if you're not going to play Helldivers? What, play another fucking Game Pass game? What exactly are you going to play, Phil? You refuse to play Stellar Blade, which is probably the number one game out there. You refuse to spend any cash on any real games. What, more Fallout 4? Is that, is that the plan? Play a nine-year-old fucking game? 
and expect people to wail out. Expect these two fucking dents to come in and drop a hundred bucks again. And by the way, if you take a look at the overall supports, no memberships, and he got what ten bucks in super chats. Super chats have just been fucking abysmal for this dude, man. It, it's what's killing his business. It, it really is the super chats and the memberships. And yes, folks, a bunch of people did ask me, where are the Argentinian and the tractors when you need them? Trust me, folks, they're coming. They're coming. Um, my understanding from talking to a few of them is that they're they're coordinating. So uh, don't worry, folks. Uh, there should be some more hilarities coming your way pretty soon. And uh, I'm guessing what they're doing is they're just waiting for uh, the, the, the last month's memberships, the 1,400 or so, to drop off so they can come in and uh, make sure that Phil's uh, viewers have uh, uh, memberships so that they can actually chat and use the amazing emotes on stream. Anyway, that's all I got, folks. Yeah, there's still like a minute and a half. No one fucking cares. Oh, God, you're so fucking annoying. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.